Thanks everyone for joining again. I've got this cool little tutorial. I was inspired by Pinterest, like another printable that I saw. So here we have this little pocket and I've got another pocket here and I've kind of done a few different things, but you open it and it has these cool little doors, which is so cute because I put some more pockets inside there. And then we've got this fun little flip and on the printables, I guess they attach these pieces. So I'm doing it a way I thought would be a little bit easier and you've got another pocket. So I'm gonna be using 12 by 12 paper and there's gonna be a, just a couple additional pieces, but this is a great way to use up some of those 12 by 12s. So, and you can add like pockets here. It's just, I was kind of on a time constraint, so I didn't have a chance to do that. So I'm going to grab, and this is double-sided paper, but it's gonna be a 12 by 12 paper. And I did have, how in the world did I lose my scoreboard? I got it, you guys. I don't know how it ended up on the other side of my room. Sometimes I don't check for this. So, okay, here's the measurements if you see them. So I just wanna show you how this is gonna work. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you uh, like a sample one so that you're not confused because especially with these lines. So we're gonna score it. Uh, let me make sure my paper is the right way. So we're going to score it four and eight inches. Okay, so this is going to be the way your paper is going to kind of face like this, right? Now we're going to go ahead and turn it to the other 12 by 12 side, and we're going to score it at three and nine inches. Three and nine. I'm going to cut it on the other side because... So I'm going to be able to see these lines here. All right, so you're going to have like this tic-tac-toe pattern. So what we're doing is, it's a really simple. We're just cutting out these four outside boxes. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when we're done. So it should look like this, right? It's probably just going to be a second while I kind of cut these out and we're not going to waste these because this is little squares that you can use for your future pockets in here, which is great. So depending how you cut this, it may not work out perfect. You may have to trim it like if you, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so hard to see because I can't see what I'm filming, but there's like a little line there. So sometimes your cuts just may not be as perfect as you want them to, and you may have to trim it. Just a little smudge when you're doing these pockets. I'll show you a couple examples of how I got around to mine just to fix it so you don't have trouble with it. I'll show you two ways I did it. All right, now just cutting this side out. And I mean, you could even leave these on and make it another little flippy lid like we're gonna do. I've seen some people doing it that way. For now, we're just gonna do this. And I've got one more right here. If you guys really enjoyed that uh, checkbook tutorial. And I checked this morning and I had 40, over a little over 40,000 followers. So thank you everyone, that's so exciting. I feel like I was at 38, 39,000 forever. And today it just, it showed up differently on my, you know, when you open it and I was like, wow, I actually have 40,000 followers. That's amazing. Okay. So all I'm doing here is, and like, I can already see, I didn't trim this good. So I'm kind of going to go back here and just fix that. I know this view doesn't zoom in the best. So just bear with me. And then you're going to have this. So you see, if you leave those other ones on, you can certainly have more flips, but it just gets a little sticky when you start folding. So make sure when you're doing this, I feel like it folds better this way. If it starts rubbing, you can trim that part. Like I heard it scrape, so it's still folding, but any, but if you have to just trim like this part, it's just the way you cut your line. So anyway, I am going to fold mine like this. I just feel like it folds better that way. All right, and then if you want to corner round, which I did, I'm going to do that when I find it. <laughs> 
I was just on the phone, I swear. You know why? When I was preparing this tutorial today, I was talking to my mom. <laughs> She's like, go do what you gotta do. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. I am, I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna corner around this right here. All right, so it looks like that. And that's really easy. And I did distress this a little bit. I mean, this paper is gorgeous. It doesn't even need it, but if you just want it to have that fun look, you can distress these little parts. So I can show you how easy it is just to do it right here. And I'll show you the difference. So you see, it just looks a little bit more vintage, I guess. I don't know, I just liked how it looked with this. I was debating about doing it, but I have no regrets. So I'm liking that. I'll probably come back to the rest and do that in a minute. All right, now where's my actual thing? All right, now let's go ahead and do these little doors over here. So the doors are going to be two and a half by, sorry, I'm just getting a little, two and a half by six inches. And we're going to score it at half an inch, but make sure when you do it, that your paper's right. So let me do this one at a time so you can see. So we're gonna do the left door first. And at the little two and a half inch score here, we're gonna score it a half an inch. Okay, because my door is going to be facing, this is especially for a newbie, it's going to be facing like this, right? So we're gonna do that with this side and we want it to go like this. So make sure you score it on the right side. So I normally, I guess you could score on the two inch side, all right, or you can just flip your paper and do it. So I'm gonna do it this way right here. That's still a half an inch. And then it will be your little doors opening. And I'll show you how I got that little effect there that I did which is easy. And if you if you don't have this, it's I'm sure you can find something to like a die or something. So, I took my tab punch, okay? This is my tab punch and I just added it right here and made that little effect right there. So, you see how it adds that little thing and I did again distress it. Okay, and then we have to do this. So for mine, I did it on the bottom. So it kind of has like this matchy thing going on or opposite thing. So I'm gonna take it and this time I'm gonna stamp it on the bottom. And so it looks like that. So that's kind of how I got that look. If you have any square dies or even just use your scissors, you can do that too. But it's just easier for me to use that. All right. And now we're gonna put these little guys on the doors. Now make sure when you're doing this, you really just make sure everything is kind of not on your edges, because it can be easy to do when you're closing it. So I always test them just to see what's going on. So right here, and make sure it folds okay. I don't want it interfering with anything. Could even, Pull it in a little bit. It's a little forgiving because it's a door. Okay, so that that's better. It was rubbing too much, and then this one here. I'm just gonna put this one on the edge because this is pretty easy. And then here you go. You can even push it in if you don't want that little gap which I don't want that gap, but I may have messed that part up. Okay, that's better. I kind of like it just like that without the spacing. So there's that. And then the little pocket right here, I'm going to be using, again, another two and a half by six, but I'm, I don't know why I did this. I scored this at a quarter inch instead of a half an inch. I guess I wanted it kind of similar to this size, but I didn't score it all the way because I was gonna, so this is almost like an option type thing. Hold on. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna score them at a quarter inch. 
but this the plan really wasn't to be a pocket i was going to do like a flap so that's why i ended up doing this so this give you a two in one option i'll show you what i mean so you've got that little score right there and let me distress this before i put it on Ooh, let me do my punch so you see i did another one right there and this is going to change up the album and make it look you know, a little different than the, the norm. They'll be like, oh, how do they do that? And it gives it a more interesting look than just the thumb punch. All right, so I'll show you what happened here. Oh, wait. When I do this with this, because it's a pocket, I cut the corners right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Glue it on and put it on here. And so this is gonna give you a two-in-one idea. So if you want, you can make this like a flap type thing. So if I close my album, you can kind of do something like that and make another score, or you can just make this a pocket. So that's what happened. I was gonna make a flap and I didn't. So I didn't score the sides of this. I just kind of leave it like that and add it to a pocket or add a pocket, sorry. So la la, it's already coming together. And then for these little notches here, I just took some of my glitter paper and I know I didn't use the glitter side, I used the back before. What a waste of glitter, right? So let me see how it looks. I guess it depends how it looks. So if I do that, that looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna leave it before I did the white, but just for you glitter gals, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just punch them. They're stacked on top of each other, by the way. I'm using my hole punch. And if you're not good at this, I would advise to mark it so you know where your little hole's at. So you can do this because you want it to be aligned up. And I'll put one there. So that way you know where your little brad goes. You could use an eyelet or a brad. For me, it's a lot more safe to use a brad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick that through and just punch right through that little dot that we made. And I'm gonna do it again at the bottom. And these little brads, I got a Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I'm sure they have them, but I swear I get asked in every video where I get these little things from. All right, and then I've got some twine here, which is very old. I just have a whole bunch. I didn't even think about it, but this is silver and this is going to be, so it'll just go like that and just kind of wrap around. We still have to do our pocket inside. But I didn't even tie a knot or anything. I literally just did that. And you have that. <clears throat> now we can do, now let me show you the pocket option. So remember the, that paper we cut out, right? The 12 by 12. We have these so we can use these for more pockets. So, oh wait. So in here, I should have done that. I'll, I did, I didn't score this. I really just popped it in here. Let me show you. So you see, I just popped it in here and did that. So this is one option to do with these. Oh, and look, see how I did that? If you do that, just come back here and do it again. Let me grab a little more ink here. And by the way, this is the tea stain that I'm using. So let me see here. If it doesn't fit, just make sure you can close this. Make sure your pocket fits. Okay, so I'm not scoring or anything. I'm just putting it right here. So we're really not wasting that 
12 by 12 paper at all. It's all being put to use. So I'm just trying to fill up that pocket. Gotta get everything to match, right? You can put that in there so you have a little pocket and you see again I didn't knot it usually I do but it will hold just fine just like that now I'm gonna do these so this one was a little tricky when I was going like this I was like uh-uh do you see how it's like hanging over the edge I didn't like that so I ended up scoring this So I would just, these come out to three by four inches, by the way. So I'm just going to take it, two of these, and use it as a pocket. And I'm just going to score it at three times around at a quarter inch. So I'm just going to score it like that. So one time two and three and do it again i'm going to use the back one two and three just to make sure the pocket fits okay and i actually like this border when it has the pockets because it makes it look a little different so i chop off those little boxes at the bottom to make it easier that I just cut off the top for a minute. Okay, now let me see how the pocket's gonna look. Just fold that back. Now, I before I glue it on, I wanna see how it looks, to see where I'm gonna put the pocket. So because that pink background's there, I think what I do is do that, so it's not just so much plaid. So I'm putting it lower because I don't want it to stack too high and you can punch a little hole your thumb notch here and I'm gonna glue this on And again, I'm gonna put it a little bit lower because I wanna be able to stuff things in there without it hanging on the, over the top. Like for instance, like if I have this in here, you see how it has, that's a project card. And then after that, I'm gonna put this one on top of it. Gorgeous when it's like that. So when they open it, they have a little surprise going on. And the only thing is the front. And remember that other paper that we had? It was the other one of these. So I'm just, all I did was the same exact thing and I put it in the front. And I'm going with that theme where I'm using this little punch here. Oop, that is the wrong. Oh, let me fold this. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to use this. I think I wanted to use this side. No, I think it looks better on that side. I was worried it was going to be too flowery, but it's fine. Again, I like to just cut the corners off.
sorry, my desk is a bomb right now. Holy cow. I just looked at it on the computer. I was like, or the camera. And I was like, this does not look nice. <laughs> so let me clear this. It's okay. Just a little chaos going on over here. And this is again an option if you want to make it like a tab thing or for me, I'm just going to make it a pocket and close this up. This is an old school vintage whole bunch. did I do here? I just add a flower or something. I'm just going to stick some things in there. I'm actually just, I love how this looks alone. I don't feel like I need much because the flowers are just so pretty itself. Let me see if there's any stickers. I had made a butterfly in my last one. Maybe put a little heart there. got a whole bunch of dyes from this and just kind of going through it. There's so many to this collection. Ooh. Sorry, it's just my mason jar. This is so white, so I'm just going to, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to distress these pockets. Now I'm going to mess it up doing that, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And then, like I said, so I do have, by the time you're done with this, you'll have, I think, oh, duh, this, so this is one more piece, so if you want, and you want to do the same thing, you can make a little pocket here with that leftover. You could, I feel like mine's hanging off just the way I cut it. So again, if you don't want to hang it, uh, put it this way, you can score it the same exact way as this and you can have a pocket there. Just because of the time constraint, I just added something here. I'm just gonna kind of a big sticker right here just to make it not look so plain, I guess. And of course, you can go around and distress the whole album, but I'm just going to leave that. I actually like the way it looks or even put some stickers on the door. It's really up to you, but yeah, that's the album. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this. I think it's just interesting. You know what I mean? Oop, and don't do that, what I just did. Careful when you're folding it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.